Stickers and Scuffs are proud supporters of Laps for MD. Laps for MD helps those with muscular dystrophy by raising funds, supporting MD charities through racing. We encourage those who are not already a part of the Laps for MD family to check them out on social media and their website, lapsformd.blogspot.com. Race fans, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Stickers and Scuffs Jr. co-host, The Bond Sons. Let's go green, boys. Take it away, Owen and Riley. Welcome back to The Bond Sons. And today we have the driver of the number 36 Camaro for DGM Racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the 2017 NASCAR Pinty Series champion, Alex LeBay. Welcome, Alex. Hey, thanks for having me on the show, guys. We're excited to have you. Oh, so, sorry. So my first question is, what were the differences of switching from a Penty's car to an Xfinity car? Uh, there was a lot for sure. I'd say the biggest difference were probably the tracks. We were racing on way bigger tracks. So uh, that's a big adaptation. I'd say probably the tire tires were, it's, uh, it's a little different too, because we're switching from a bias ply tire in a NASCAR Penty series to a rail tire. So it's a completely different construction and a, I'd say those those are probably the two biggest uh, difference. Yeah. Uh, that uh, to, to drive the cars to drive these cars. Yeah. So my second question is, what made you want to get into racing? Uh, I've, I've always been around racing. My dad was uh, my dad was never really a racer, but he uh, he was all he was on a race team with a on the dirt on my dirt modifies uh, back in Quebec, and uh, we just start I just started doing doing go-karts at like six years old and never uh, never gave up on my dream i've, all, I've always enjoyed uh, to be competitive and just trying to surpass myself just trying to just trying to get more uh, get get more get more technical just try, always trying to learn the sport and uh, the score as much as i can and i've uh, I, I really enjoy it i guess i'm i'm, I'm a pretty competitive guy so uh, racing is a really competitive sport <laughs> yeah we love watching racing <laughs> yeah i'm sure you guys are around quite a bit, and whenever uh, remember when I was racing the Penny Series, I I would see you guys a couple times a year. Yeah. <laughs> My third question is: What track coming up on the Xfinity Series schedule are you most excited for? Uh, I'd say probably I don't know. It's tough to tough question. I said the, the new tracks for sure. We're going at Coda and Nashville. We've never been there before, but for sure, I think Coda is going to be really fun. I, I I like to road race and uh, yeah. feel like. Uh, it's going to be a really nice track. It's a F1 Grand Prix circuit. So uh, it's going to be pretty different from all the tracks we've been running. And uh, I think it's going to be a good challenge. And we're going to have practice for uh, that's the next, that's the next, next race plan that, that we have uh, practice. So uh, it, it's going to be a lot of fun also just to get back in uh, practicing and trying to try to try to improve as a driver and to improve our cars. So uh, yeah, I'd say probably Coda is the, is the, the, the track I'm looking the most forward to uh, the rest of the season. It's going to be interesting to see how the cars handle it. Yep, yeah. not for sure. It's because there's a lot of different corners, fast corners, slow corners, and a lot, a lot of braking zones. So it's it's definitely going to be a really, really tough on our equipment. Uh, we're going to have to work on our our brake uh, brake system because I think they're going to get a lot of abuse there. And my final question is: You have had some great finishes over the past years in Xfinity, with a fourth place, sixth place. And eighth place. Do you see a win coming soon? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're we're having a pretty rough start of the year. We I feel like the speed was really good to start of the year, but I would just have no luck. So I re, I really hope we can get back in the top ten and uh, try, start gathering up some some good results because uh, I feel like we've improved as a team and I always try to improve as a driver. So uh, definitely, we're always working hard on that trying to get as much top tens and top five. We got our first top five last year at the Robo, like you said. So definitely we, we want more, we want more of these. So yeah, we just, we're not, we're not giving out for sure. I mean, it's really tough where I think we're 30, we're 36 in owner points right now. And we're supposed to be in the top 15, I'd say. So <laughs> it's just a tough spot, but it is what it is. It's racing and it's, a, I'm sure it's going to come back around and we'll try to go gather up some top tens and top five. And it's going to put us in a good spot in, in points. So for my first question, 
Can you tell us about your relationship with Mario Gosling? What does it mean to have him for support and help? Oh, it means a lot. I've been working with Mario pretty much my entire stock car life, if I, if I, if I can say that like that. He's, he's helped me uh, with my late models, even a little bit with my trucks when I, whenever I, I started uh, at like 14 years old. So uh, now the really, we have a really sp special relation and it's, it's really fun to, Like over 10, 12 years later, I'm here and I'm I'm running for him in a NASCAR Xfinity Series. It's uh, it's definitely special, and uh, I just I just like to I like to work with him because he's a he's a racer like I am, and he's always I, I know he's always trying his 110, and uh, we're always trying to trying to do more with, with what we have, and uh, that's ex that, that that's exactly what uh, keep that keeps uh, us motivated uh, motivated uh, week in week out. That's real cool. <laughs> Not for sure, we have a. Pretty special relation, I'd say. <laughs> for my next question, what tracks and what type of tracks are you most comfortable with? Uh, um, for sure. I mean, we on paper it shows like well, I mean we're always really good on a rope course, but I'd say I'm uh, I think I'm I'm as good as a short track racer as a road racer. So I, I really enjoy going to Bristol and uh, especially Bristol. I feel like we we always run really good there and we uh. We all are. We're gonna try. We're, we're. It's kind of a shame because we're only going there once this year. But still, it's a. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna try to, to go run a, as hard as we can. But uh, no, I'd say probably short tracks or short tracks and road racing are definitely the, the places where I'm uh, most comfortable. Comfortable and yeah. I mean, last year we had a really good. We had three times drop three top tens on the plate tracks. But uh, I mean, it, it's. I think it, there's a lot of luck with it. We just gotta be in the right place at the right time. And I've got a little bit of. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm kind of patient. I'm, I really like to be patient and conserve my, my equipment so that, that definitely pays off. But uh, at the same time, you need to have uh, luck on your side because sometimes uh, you get involved in stuff and it's uh, 100% out of, of your control. So uh, well, if I had an answer, I'd probably, probably gonna be a short track where I really feel like I'm uh, more comfortable. And for my last question, what does the 36 mean to you since you've read it in Xfinity and in the start of your 50s career? Yeah. I mean, it means a lot for sure. I've always had number 36 whenever I started racing stock cars. It's it doesn't have it doesn't really have any signification. I mean, I've I've started like well, when I transitioned from uh, go karts to stock car, I, I raced. I did, I did one year where I was racing four wheelers, and I I picked the 36 because it was one of one of the numbers I was left that I, that was available. So I I just always stick to that number, and I, I mean, it's for sure. I'm all my friends and everybody around me. They 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 always call me the the 36 or there's always something labby 36 or uh, now it's it's definitely my uh, my own number and um, I, i'm 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 happy that mario and dgm racing let, let me run that number here in the nascar Xfinity series it's uh, it's pretty cool thank you so much for joining us on the bun Sons, and we hope to see you have some good finishes awesome thanks for having me on the show it's a lot of fun Thanks for tuning in into the Bun Sons. Make sure to check out the Stickers and Scuffs podcast on social media. Be sure to leave a comment and let the boys know how they did.